Hello and thanks for joining me on Sports Pilots James Lurian. Another exciting edition of Sport Vibe from DNT World Club. Bring the exciting and latest sport happenings across the world of sports every Tuesday at his our tradition. This week won't be an exception, so I would indulge you to please stay tuned because we'll be right back shortly after this break. Welcome back to today's episode of Sports Vibe from DNT World and starting from the world of basketball in the NBA Lakers were able to defeat Pacers 123 to 109 to win the inaugural edition of the NBA in-season tournament. It was an interesting match between these two but the Lakers were able to emerge victorious to win the inaugural edition and the first ever NBA in-season tournament and just after that tournament James LeBron was given the award of the MVP of the inaugural edition of the NBA in-season tournament is an interesting one for the Lakers making history in the world of NBA and also subsequently there will be winners of the NBA in-season tournament but nobody will be able to take the sport from the Lakers as the first team ever to win the first ever NBA in-season tournament. And quickly let's go down to the world of Formula 1 where we talk about the McLaren driver Oscar Piastri who was able to win the FIA year 2023 Rookie of the Year. It was an outstanding year for Oscar Piastri alongside his partner McLaren driver Landro Lores. Oscar Piastri after claiming the Rookie of the Year 2023 in the award night. You can take nothing away from the young man but another man to talk about in the world of Formula One in the year 2023 is Max Verstappen. Without mentioning Max Verstappen in the year 2023 in the world of Formula One, the story is not completed. You remember that Max Verstappen was able to win 19 races out of the available 22 in the year 2023, and as such, he has been officially and the, the award of the world champion in the year 2023. Also, in the world of Formula One, Max Verstappen ensured that the Red Bull were able to win the Constructors Award of the year 2023 with Max Verstappen and the Red Bull team be able to keep up with the momentum in the year 2024 to win as much as they can also or with the Mercedes be able to catch up with them or with McLaren be able to double up with the help of Lando Lores and Oscar Piastri to set up a challenge with the Red Bull and Max Verstappen and quickly let us travel down to the world of football and this time around we'll be starting from the United States of America where we'll talk about the Columbus crew who were able to defeat Los Angeles FC in the finals of the MLX Cup to win that particular title for the third time in the history of the club this was an incredible and a remarkable one for the Columbus crew after defeating Los Angeles FC in the finals of that competition and also still in the world of football but quickly let's talk about Manchester United who were able to claim most of the award available in the Premier League in the month of November as Eric Penag was able to win the manager of the month of November the goal of the month went to Gonalcho. You remember he scored an overhead kick against Everton. That goal has been able to win the goal of the month. Also, if you ask me, I think that goal should be able to win the goal of the season in the Premier League and also and a surprising one in the Premier League where you talk about a player that has suffered so many criticism in the world of football and from Manchester United fans as a whole, Harry Maguire was able to win the player of the month of November. What an outstanding performance for, from Harry Maguire. What a professional comporting himself in the world of football after so many critics from his football fans. He was able to win that particular award with the help of his manager definitely but he has shown to us that he's a professional in the world of football and still in the Premier League you know that during the week we witnessed so many matches in the Premier League and during the weekend was a dramatic one in fact in the world of football at large but particularly in the Premier League where as now Chelsea and Manchester United 
lost their match during the weekend. Arsenal were defeated by Aston Villa in the Premier League as Aston Villa currently occupies the third position in the Premier League. Chelsea were defeated by Everton during the weekend and for the record purpose, this is something that Chelsea fans won't like to hear. Chelsea has been able to get 39 points out after playing 39 matches in the Premier League in the year 2023. What a devastating one for Mauricio Pochettino and Chelsea Football Club after spending so much money getting the likes of Enzo Fernandez and Caicedo. All we want is Caicedo was what Chelsea fans were saying right now. What is wrong with them after signing Caicedo and what do you think Chelsea is not doing well? You remember they were able to play a draw against Manchester City and everyone would have thought they will be able to keep up with the momentum but right now they are struggling and they are sitting in the 12th position in the Premier League and another inconsistent team in the Premier League this season is Manchester United. Manchester United appears to be the twin brother of Chelsea as they were defeated by Bournemouth for the very first time at Old Trafford. Manchester United suffered a defeat to Bournemouth, three goals to zero at Old Trafford, and that records the first win that Bournemouth will be getting against Manchester United in the Premier League at Old Trafford. You remember that Manchester United also defeated Chelsea at Old Trafford during the midweek. Those two played each other and that two are the most inconsistent team in the Premier League this season. Quickly, let's go on a very short break and when we write back, we continue from where we stop. Welcome back and we are still talking about football and we are still in the Premier League definitely Tottenham all sport winless drawn is over as they were able to defeat Newcastle during the weekend they were able to defeat Newcastle four goals to one and the Premier League as you know Son was able to start up providing two assists and scoring a goal to see off Newcastle and the Premier League they are back to their winning ways as Chikosikogu must be happy with his team performance and what a way to get back to your winning ways in the Premier League. Also, you remember in the Premier League during the midweek, Aston Villa was able to defeat Manchester City. Manchester City currently sits in the fourth position in the Premier League. Mohamed Salah in the Premier League has been able to score his 150th goal in the Premier League as Liverpool sits at the top of the Premier League right now. They were able to defeat Crystal Palace at the later end during the mid weekend to go to the top of the Premier League table while Arsenal follow closely Aston Villa who has been undefeated at home in 15 Premier League matches are sitting in the third position. Manchester City follow closely in the fourth position. Tottenham then Manchester United in the Premier League table and also talking about football is an interesting one in the world of football like I said so many dramatic matches were played and in the Bundesliga we saw Bayern Munich being defeated by Frankfurt five goals to one during the weekend in the Bundesliga it must be a devastating one for two Chelsea side that have suffered a defeat and now they have given the chance to Bayern Leverkusen to seize comfortably at the top of the Bundesliga four points clear Bayern Munich and the Bundesliga this season you remember that but Bayern Leverkusen are unbeaten in the Bundesliga this season. They were able to play a draw against Borussia Dortmund and also got a draw against Stuttgart to maintain their unbeaten record in all competition. This season is an interesting one. Also in the Spanish La Liga, the underdog Girona continues to impress us in the Spanish La Liga. This season they were able to defeat Barcelona during the weekend to go to the top of the Spanish La Liga is an interesting one for them defeating Barcelona 4 goals to 2 during the weekend. They are at the top of the Spanish La Liga right now with Real Madrid following closely. Atletico Madrid with the game at hand are above the defending champion Barcelona in the Spanish La Liga. It's an interesting one in the world of football definitely during the weekend and it's not stopping anytime soon as during the week again especially tonight we'll be witnessing so many fixtures 
play in the UEFA Champions League. The last match in the UEFA Champions League group stage will be played tonight and on Wednesday. But there are so many fixtures that I want us to look at in the UEFA Champions League tonight as Inter Milan will be taking on Real Sociedad will be saved. Copiagen taking on Galatasaray from the group A will be making it out of the group A. Also, Napoli will be taking on Braga, will be seeing PSV taking on Arsenal. Real Madrid will be playing Union Berlin. RB Sesbor will be taking on Benfica. And in March, not to miss end to nine fixtures is between Manchester United and Bayern Munich. Who will be winning that particular match between these two? You remember, these two suffered a defeat during the weekend. Manchester United have to do all they have got to proceed to the next round of the UEFA Champions League or at least make the Europa League this season. Who will be winning this match between Manchester United and Bayern Munich? You can predict who will be winning it at our comment section ahead of the match. And this is the length at which we will be going on to this episode of Sport Vibe on DNT World. For more news and sports stories, Follow us across our various social media handles at Sport Vibe on DMT Walk. Remember to remain a law abiding citizen and stay out of trouble. Enjoy your week. Thank you.